Over the evening hours, do expect that chance for showers and thunderstorms to slowly diminish here over the next couple of hours, and we'll get rid of it after sunset and return to partly cloudy skies overnight. Temperatures dropping down into the mid to upper 70s. Another muggy, buggy night out there. Tomorrow, low 90s for highs. It feels like temperature again, 105 out there. A hot, humid day with some showers and thunderstorms, maybe a little bit less than the past couple of days, but still a pretty active afternoon. Uh, we see the storms dying there by again 8 or 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Some sunshine, maybe a few clouds around. We get the sea breeze to form. Early indications now it may continue to push inland towards the lake. That's where we'll see the big uh, blow up here with maybe some of it reaching back towards the coastline, but not a ton. So most of it inland. Then we may see an onshore flow, which will blow some passing showers in tomorrow night and also uh, Thursday, bringing back some higher rain chances towards the end of the week and a part of the weekend. Hey, remember we were watching this. It was red here in the tropics. Now it has decreasing chances, 30%, and really it's running out of time as it's going to move into the North Atlantic with some cooler waters. And then that will be it for the tropics here for now with not a whole lot of activity to start a normally very active month. This is the month we start to ramp up activity. Boating and beach forecast looking real good. It's just uh, smooth out there right now. Just be aware of some thunderstorms that may happen. Maybe a little bit of a swell starting to show up late Thursday and Friday. Low 90s for highs, a couple degrees above average. Upper 70s for lows. Rain chances again start to ramp up here going in towards the end of the week and part of the weekend. We do have that full moon coming tonight and tomorrow morning too. If these clouds clear out, you'll be able to see it.